Matthew 5 and 27, how I understand that is in Isaiah 42 and 21. Now, what he's doing is magnifying the law, right? That's all he's doing, right? And I'm going to prove that. Isaiah 42 and 21. Read. Isaiah chapter 22 and verse 21. Read. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. Uh-huh. He will magnify the law. He will do what? He will magnify the law. He will magnify the law and do what? And make it honorable. For an example, when you go to Deuteronomy 4. Why are you asking him? Why are you asking him? Let me, let me continue. When you go to Deuteronomy 4. I heard what he said. You didn't need to ask him. Right, right. Let me, See, that's kind of like a... Well, it's, it's kind of like a, it's like a religious thing. No, 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 do what? You do what? You see, you, no, no, you know listen, what I'm saying? Listen, like, that's not, God's not after that listen, kind of stuff. I'm, I'm just saying. Listen to what I'm saying. An example of making the law more honorable, when you look at Deuteronomy 14 and you talk about divorce, you can't just put away your do, wife just because she makes bad sandwiches, right? I know, I know. So but you make the law more but do you see what you did? What, but did you see what you did? That's not changing. Did you see what I did? It's like saying, can I get an amen? You know, do you do what? Do you what? Look, man. Do I mean, you understand what the Bible says? There's no reason that, no, no need to pump it up, man. No, I know, but it, I'm not Okay, let me just, let me tell you. Here's the difference. Hold on, you're oh, yeah. oh, yeah. huh? oh. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. See if I can stop it. I don't mean to interrupt you. What I was going to say 